with our trend line and today we are going to do some additional configuration to show the revenue based on the monthly basis and the quarterly basis so if you remember uh, in the past we have uh, uh, done you know the different uh, trend lines here this is the moving average and this is the standard deviation okay so first of all I'm gonna make some change here I'm going to make this red one make sure you selected the red one and change it to standard deviation to uh, the moving average okay and then hit OK right and now let's save it and let's preview so basically uh, the red line is gone the thing is actually the red line is not gone a red line is there but it's behind the green line because both of them have the same formula and same configuration so that's why it is not showing up okay so now uh, I'm going to make some changes and why I'm going to make some changes because our because right now what we are looking at the trend on the monthly basis and we want to change it to quarterly basis okay so <clears throat> uh, if I again let's choose this one okay uh, the green one and I do the right click so when I choose you know this bar when I add this it by default gives me a formula of moving average but important thing to notice over here is it gives me a period of how many periods you want to configure you can configure as many as periods you want okay so that's up to you so right now when I say two two means it is making the comparison between this January and February so these are the two months so if I saying if I'm saying three so now it's gonna calculate the same things on the basis of you know the quarterly basis and I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna then say save and, and then I'm gonna say preview so you will see some difference now what's happening here the red line is configured for two months and the green line is configured for three months so what's happening behind the scene is the red line is still doing the average in between the Jan and Feb and then putting calculating this value same thing goes with Feb and March and the calculation of these guys and average summing up is pointing three mil over here right so this is the basic what we have seen so far but when I configure the period as three so what's happening is now the green line is plot plotting as first point on the basis of the average of Jan, Feb and March right so if you sum these guys up so basically you'll get some value approximately okay so what value is that I'm not gonna calculate so one second so the green one has changed right so I'm gonna say show data labels and let's preview it so you can see over here 2.5 million is the final answer so if you sum these three guys up Jan, Feb and March so you will get the average of 2.5 million and same goes with the April, May and June so you have a point again over here which is 2.5 mil right so likewise it is moving up so the red line shows the monthly basis the green line shows the quarterly basis and if you want to add you know uh, one more trend line to show you know the calculation based on six months again you can do that it's up to you completely what formula you want to choose or what things you need to done so guys this is the end of trend line series I hope this helps if this helps then guys please share this video with your friends don't forget to subscribe and let me know your comments and thank you for watching good night and take care